Flowcharts are a visual way to show the logic of an algorithm. While there is a technical and specific way to create a flowchart, it isn't actually required to logically get the information across. Sometimes you'll find them even in jokes or shared between non-technical people so that they can get an idea of what needs to happen. Let's take a look at this example. An engineering flowchart. Does it move and should it? Clearly, based on the example, you can see how the flow of logic is trying to be described. Now, we can use a more technical method, which allows us to share with others a more precise method of showing that logical flow. Let's look at the types of blocks you might use. The terminal block is where we start or stop a flowchart. Some people will write it in start and stop so people know for sure what it is and there's no confusion. It provides no logic to the flowchart other than showing us a terminal location. And in a perfect world, you will have two terminal blocks, one to start and one to end. Although in reality, you will often see more than one stop terminal block. Flow lines point us to the next block that we will execute. While you often see them point down, they may also point from side to side for a loop or decision because you run out of space. Typically, flow lines are straight at 90 degree increments, and they will have a turn in them if they need to move to a different direction. An input output block is used to let people know that you're either getting input from a user, or a file, or another source, or likewise sending output to one of those many sources. It does not matter if it is input or output, the same block is used. Some flowchart systems will have separate type for files, but this is not always the case. You will need to write what is being input or output inside the block, usually saying in, colon, a value. A decision block is used to give you a decision. A yes no question needs to be stated with a yes flow line going one way and a no flow line going another way. In some flowchart systems, they always go to the right for yes and down for no because it falls through. But this isn't a hard fast rule. To make it easier to read, however, labels letting the reader know which way should always be used. Likewise, Keeping the yes-no flow lines consistent will make reading that flowchart easier. Whenever you need a calculation to be made, a processing block will be used. Often, the block will be big enough to write in what process is being done or calculated. Each step will be written in a new processing block. If you have several steps that need to be done, you might want to use a predefined calculation block. If you have programming experience, this is the idea behind a function call. The function makes it easier for repeatability and working with the code. Same thing inside of a flowchart. These series of predefined procedures will need to be found elsewhere so logic and flow can be kept with. The predefined name will need to be written inside the box.